In this video, I'm going to create a low content book from scratch and show you exactly how I use BookBolt and Canva to bring that book together ready for uploading to KDP. Now, this process is quite simple, but it's important to follow these steps to make sure you get the book that is going to be selling on Amazon KDP. Now, my name is Romney, and thank you very much for joining me on my YouTube channel. If you haven't been to this channel before, it's all about creating, building, and scaling your self-publishing business, and I'm also the creator of the Publishing Accelerator Low and No Content Publishing course. So let's get into this video. So the first step that I do as part of this process is to log into my BookBolt account. Now, if you haven't been to BookBolt before, it's a tool that you can use both for free but also there's a subscription model that's available for BookBolt, and you can just check out the links below in regards to that. They are affiliate links, so just make sure that um, you do know that I will receive a small commission if you do sign up with BookBolt, but you won't pay any more. In fact, there's a discount associated with using my affiliate link. So first thing, what we're gonna do is log in, and I'm gonna show you the steps that I use when I'm doing some initial research for the books that I'm gonna create, my low content books using BookBolt, and then we use Canva for uh, some design elements for our low content book. Then we go back to using BookBolt again for the cover design element and bring it all together and formatting it. So let's get onto that right now. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is just doing some initial research on what they call the cloud. Now I'm gonna click on the cloud and I get the opportunity of doing some filtering depending on what topic I want to do. So you can do the top 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 different booksellers. I generally like to keep it at about 100. You can go to 200, so I'm gonna do 100. The category, they've got quite a few different categories now. Uh, so you can get to choose any of those. Today we might go to, let's try maybe logbook. BSR range, now this will do a filter for us based on the maximum range. I normally like to bring it down to approximately 250 or thereabouts, about there, that's fine. And then the price range of those books within that filter, I'm going to bring this down to about the book price that I normally set for my books. So let's just say about $15. You can add extra keywords, which are optional in here. And what we do then is do our search. Now this will bring up quite a few different books that we can search through. And you might get some ideas from here too. Now with BookBolt, they do provide quite a few free interiors and you can use those. So I'll go back into the very beginning of BookBolt just to show you where those are. But just say you want to do a blood pressure logbook, then they've got some ready-made free interiors available. I'll just go to that now. So if we were just to go back to the start, you go to resources and you can go to uh, interior wizard. Then this will bring up some free uh, content uh, interiors for you. So go free KDM no content book interiors. Let's just have a quick look here. And you can go down here and see the different ones that are available. The ones that are blanked out, they're for members only where you've got the subscription. The ones that are white, then they're available for free download. So you can go down here and have a bit of a look. If you want to do a savings tracker, you can do that. And once you choose one of these, if you were using the free uh, platform or the, the uh, without having to be a subscriber, then what you need to do is click on what you wanted. So let's just say it was the body, body measurement tracker. You click that, you click on bleed, no bleed, the size you want, just say it was a seven by 10, the page count, let's just do a hundred pages. And then you would click download and then you'd get your free ready-made interior and it is as simple as that and then what I would recommend is doing some modifications to that interior to personalize it so then it is ready for KDP but if we were wanting to do something that's more tailored let's go back to uh, the main research of BookBolt right, so I'm back here again on the platform scroll down here what I'm looking for is something that I think we could create and that is actually tracking quite well. There's a couple of checks that I'll do as well. So I'm just having a look down here. 
There's a lot of password books, but I know that they've been used a lot. Uh, logbook as well. What's this one here? Lawn care client logbook. So what we would, what I would normally do, is think. Well, I haven't seen many of them before. It was released in 2021. Currently tracking at 38,000 BSR. It's got an average BSR of 49,000, and it's priced at roughly seven dollars, and it's probably got a 4.3 out of five. So what I would do is click here, and this will actually bring up the tracking of it. So even though this is going down, that's that's okay. That's what we want. That's the BSR ranking. So when it was first um, went at the start of in um, March. March 4th, ranking at 77,000, then it went down to 33,000, went up again, and it's got a trajectory going down again. So that's a positive. What I would then do is check out the book on Amazon and see what this interior looks like. And I know that we could probably do a better cover. So what I do is I click here, I go and have a bit of a look, I scroll down, and a few things I check out is the categories so it's number three and number 20 in landscape so they got the right categories it's currently ranked at 25,000 it's 8.5 by 11 inch at 110 pages we go down a bit further you can check out any reviews translate to english if need be not many reviews there it's got a couple of mixed reviews but i think 4.3 out of 5 we could do better than that scroll back up look inside and we have a look at the lawn care client logbook. So it's got an introductory page there. Then it has got the details here. And it's exactly the same, just repeated all the way through. So all we'd need to do is create our own tailored page like this. And that's where we're going to be using Canva. We can use, um, we can also create a cover using Canva. Then we go back to BookBolt and we can use BookBolt to put it all together. So it's a really good combination of using both. And remember with Canva, you can use it for free, but I always use the pro version just because there's so many better options that are available. Again, there'll be a link below to Canva if you wanted to check it out. So let's go through here. What I would normally do is just do a screenshot of that. Then I would open up a Word document. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to copy what this interior is. I'm going to get some inspiration from what they're asking for, what details. And I just, you, I use copy this like this, so then I can just easily refer to it. So I do that. So when I go to Canva, I can actually sort of have a bit of a look at what they've included and create my own special tailored interior. That is uh, gonna have elements of what is actually being successfully done by this publisher. So let's just keep that there. Let's go back to BookBolt. Uh, that's on the Amazon. So we might keep that there, go to cloud. So we've got a book that we're going to look at doing. So we've used BookBolt to, um, to look through the different, um, different niches or a niche that I was interested in creating in. So that's very important. Now you can also check out different uh, books that this publisher might have also created. So you can go to there and you go to search and then what it does is brings up the different books. So this author's just got the one or it could do some more. You can just push stop if you don't need any more information at all. What it also does is provide you with the keywords, the relevant relevant keywords that you can use. So what we might do is we can go lawn care client. So if we go to our keywords, here we go search, do lawn care, do a search. And this will bring up the most frequent keywords. So lawn care logbook. Uh, there might be a plants and lawn care notebook. So these are good things to look at. And it, can, it actually shows you different potentially relevant books. Doesn't always show you the most relevant books. And you can also see some of the 
different things that comes up here as well so if you want to do look at the google search volume amazon search volume and the competition so if we look at lawn care then that's the search volume from amazon that's a search volume from google and that's the average price or cost sorry cost per click for it as well uh, lawn care appointment book and it's got um you know some uh low search volumes on Google but some good search volumes on Amazon and that's where we want to be selling our books anyway so make sure you utilize the keywords in there too now book scout what you can do is use uh, this to put in the ASIN number so when we're on here we can go back we can look at the ASIN number of this book which is right uh, here highlight that we go back to book scout we do that and this lets you bring up some extra data for us it's got the uh, title it's got the main keywords that it's ranking for as well in the search volume now again this doesn't always bring up everything that is relevant i've found that with book bolt but there is information in there which you can use for your keywords for your title and for your seven back-end keywords when you're loading it up uh, so that's handy to do as well. Now, what we want to do is make note of the size 8.5 by 11 and 110 pages. So what we now do is go to Canva and we're now going to uh, generate an interior for our book based on the 8.5 by 11 and what the you know, and, and use the interior information from this book to try and tailor our own specific one that is unique to us. So what I've now done is gone to canva.com. Again, I'll provide a link in the description for, uh, to be able to use Canva. And I have um, a Canva Pro account, but you can use Canva for free for all the things we're about to do. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, Canva Pro allows you to uh, use much more advanced icons, uh, different uh, font types, there's different elements you can use, which are just not available on the free version, but that's okay if that's your choice. Um, but I tend to use the more advanced features just because I want to be able to um, get those to attract more customers and sell more books. But it just depends on what you're wanting to do. So let me log into my account and I'm going to create an 8.5 by 11 inch uh, manuscript. Um, or uh, interior size and we can go from there so let me log into my account so now that I'm in Canva I'm going to do custom size so we go custom size we want to make sure this is inches and we're going to do 8.5 by 11 inch create a new design and what you can also do if we go back to um the main part of canva as well i can also show you some other things that we can use so or what we might actually do if we do lawn care then this will bring up different ideas that we can use for lawn care but also if we go back home and we go to uh we go to here and we do lawn care then this will bring up a lot of different templates and things that we can use and different icons which are great for the book that we want to create now remember we're going to do our interior first and then i'll create a cover and then we're going to use book bolt to bring it all together now there'd be parts of this which i'm going to fast forward just so you don't have to see the whole lot which is might waste your time uh, but i'll do importantly want to show you how I sort of do bring it together to combine both Canva and BookBolt to make our low content book. So what I'm going to do is have a look through here and see if there's any different icons that we might use. This is probably more for our cover. We're currently um, making our interior. Although what I might do is change it around because it may be easier to create our cover first. Then we get inspiration from that to also use for our interior. What I will do is pick out a couple of these items here and I'll um, show you how I'm going to put together this front cover. So I've just gone back to our 8.5 by 11 inch design. 
I'm going to call it Lawn Care Front Cover. I'll do it properly so it actually makes sense. And what I'm also going to do is use the same color here. So we just copy it, go across, and that looks like a nice, good color, good, strong color. And I quite like that writing as well. So what we do, we bring it all together. And I'm just going to fast forward this little bit here where I create the front cover. And I'll come back before I finish to then show you that finished product. So I've been working on my front cover. It's definitely not perfect, but this is just more for demonstration purposes that I'm getting this cover together. So I can show you how you can combine this with BookBolt. So let's just say uh, for the moment, I've created the front cover, but I do want to put um, an illustration of what the interior is going to be on the front cover, because I did notice that they've done something similar here and obviously that works and that's what we need to do so let me go back to my front cover here and what i'm now going to do is create the interior so i'm going to go back to the custom design do 8.5 by 11 and get my blank canvas again so now that i have my blank canvas what i'm now going to do is use canva to create something that has similar similar elements to this but is unique to me. So let me go ahead and use Canva to create these elements and then I will um, pause it as I'm halfway through to be able to show you what I'm creating. So the first thing I did was create my uh, contact information at the front of the book. So they did this and what I've done, so business address and contact, I've got the business address and contact and now what I'm gonna do is create my, my page, which is going to be repeated throughout the rest of the manuscript. So let me do the next one right now. But remember, when you're doing this, start to use elements that are also on your front cover. So if we look at the front cover, I've used some of the grass, I've used the guy with the lawnmower, and I've also used these little emblems here when I've created that. So you can see that there. And make sure you also list it as the internal manuscript when doing it so when you when it saves then it is ready to go so now we're going to go into uh, the next main page and this is going to be repeated throughout and i'll show you how to do that but let me design it and i'll come back to you so again i'm not wasting too much of your time so what i'm going to do is provide you with a quick update of where i'm up to now with the internal manuscript so i've done that front bit with the introduction now what I've done is created the internals. So I've got the client address, zip code, phone number, email. Notice how you need to give uh, plenty of space. Now what this person did was try to include it all on the one page. Now I prefer to give my um, customers more space. If it's an 8.5 book and you do have the opportunity of providing more space than I do. Now remember, when you are doing this, we need to make sure that we do not go too far because when we do submit our book through to KDP, we need to make sure it meets their specification so we're leaving enough space around the border so we don't have any words or anything that's going to impact that area. So what I do is just move a few of these elements into the right spaces. I've got everything here. What I've also done is include that second page where I've got some more area for information. So the next part of this will be to duplicate this information so that we have all the information on the one page. So let me show you how to do that now. So what I need to do is go down to this little grid view. Then what we do is highlight that one, can hold control. Then what we're going to be doing is duplicate the two pages. So now it duplicates it, and we can do four of them together. And we can go duplicate four pages. Then we can highlight these ones, duplicate eight pages. Then we highlight these ones. And then duplicate 16 pages. And we keep going until we get to 100 pages. So let me do that now. 
So now I've got to 99 pages. Now the reason I can't go any further is because Canva only permit you to have 100 pages for a manuscript. Now the way we can get around that is to create um, some more pages and use what they call PDF Combiner to bring both the PDF documents together. Uh, so that is one way around it. Now, if you are happy with 100 pages, then you can just go up to here, go to download, and then we are going to download it as a PDF. So what we do is download that now. Then what that will do is bring us up with the PDF in a moment. Once I go download, this will now download the document for me and it will bring it up so that it has our internal information. Now you could also add something on the back on this very last page. It might be to do with your author central account, other books that you have in your portfolio. There are a number of different things you can do uh, to help direct clients or customers back to purchasing your book again. So now we have our PDF and we have our document ready to go. Now one main thing you need to do is ensure you check for any spelling or grammatical errors. So lawn care and mowing, client logbook, business name, address, contact, client address, zip code, phone, email, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly. So you just go through the whole uh, document just to make sure because this is the time when you can change it, not after, well, you can change it once you've uploaded it to KDP, but it's not really the right time that you want to be doing it. So that's all that information together now, and then it just duplicates all the way through. So the next thing now is to provide or create a quick back cover. Then we're going to be using BookBolt to bring it all together. And one thing I mentioned earlier on was I wanted to get a picture of our front cover right here. So what I'm going to do is go to our PDF and I'm going to control print screen, go back to here, control V. Then what I'm going to do is bring this together like this. Might be worthwhile going a bit closer. Zoom up. Bring it all together. Closer like this. Bring it up like that. Then expand it. So then a customer can actually see exactly what they're getting. Now what I'm going to do is go to edit image. I'm going to um, do shadows, page lift. And I'm like, whoop, that didn't work then. I need to redo that. And I'll replicate that for the other side, the additional page that I added. So I'm just back onto the front cover. Just made a few small changes to bring it to life a bit more and I've um, added the front uh, sorry the main manuscript as well just so that when customers are looking they can actually see what is inside the book as well um, so that is an improvement now I'm just going to do the back cover what I do for that is do exactly the same dimensions as the front so it's an 8.5 by 11 and I'm just going to use similar information that I've got here to create the back cover so let me quickly create that now so what I've done is created the back cover and I've just used elements from the front. Now what I have done is actually changed the name. I've decided to change it to Lawn Care and Landscape Client Logbook uh, just so it um, meets a bit more of the criteria. And, <clears throat> and that's how I've done the front and the back. Now you could put them together using Canva, but I'm now going to show you how I use BookBolt to go back to BookBolt how I put the front and back pages together and bring it all together so that I have no errors when I'm loading it up to KDP. So the first thing we need to do is just ensure that both of these, the front and the back cover, are saved in PNG. Then I'm going to go to Book Bolt and add them as we do our book cover. Download PNG. We download that one. Once the front cover is completed, then we're going to go to our back cover, go share, download, make sure it's PNG, download, save those to the file or the folder that you know where you're going to have them, and then go back to BookBolt. So now that I'm back on BookBolt, I go to here, 
go to Book Bolt Designer. Then I'll log in. This will then take me to whether I want to create a paperback or a hardback. Now you can do both for this book. So we're just going to do paperback for the moment. So we're doing the cover. We're doing an 8.5 by 11. We're going to do black and white paper. And we are doing, even though I had 99 pages, we'll just do 100. We submit that. This then calculates all the formatting for you, which I love about BookBolt. It just will avoid all those issues when you load it up, when you get the error message. So we're uh, waiting for it to generate the template. And then all we need to do is upload our front and back cover to BookBolt, which is nice and easy. Align them into place and then we push save and then it will create the PDF for us to be able to upload to KDP. So let's just wait for this to generate. And the template's now ready to go. So what we need to do is go to images and we need to upload our two images. So we just click here and go to the folder and add them. So now I've uploaded my two images. I click on it. What I need to do now is go down until that little gray line there hits the bottom right there and see how the lines are at the top now we need to do the same so it goes right across and just hits that line right there and notice how it's right in the middle of the spine there too we do exactly the same here so once it goes into the middle drag it down to those little gray dots hit the mark then we drag it across just try and keep it nice and straight get aligned make sure we've got the top and the bottom so that top wasn't aligned there so now is the other thing we can do is make sure the background is green as well so it's nice and green here so you go product and we can go to we can actually select a color so if you want to you can go back here and if you wanted to find out what that dark green color is I can some I, what I usually do is just grab a square like this Go click on the square, go to the plus, go to the, the dotter, and then just go to the darkest you want, say there, then highlight that, that code, go back to Book Bulk Designer, enter that code there, then that will make all the background green, like the grass, and that will be ready to go. So we just need to make sure that on this pink line that runs around, there is no writing that is going past. Images are okay. But we just want to make sure it's clear. And just here will be where the ISBN is. So we need to keep that clear as well. Now, all we need to do is download this. And this cover is now ready. BookBolt has done all the, all the, um, uh, the calculations for us for the formatting of 100 pages with the 8.5 by 11 inch cover and back cover. And uh, calculates the spine for us. And that is amazing. And that has saved me so many hours and up re-uploads with KDP because I got that wrong when I first started. So it's a huge tip. If you want to avoid that, make sure you use a tool like BookBolt. So now what I'm going to do is push download. This now prepares it and provides the PDF all ready for us to download to KDP when it asks us to download the cover. And we've also got our manuscript which will be in the PDF format, which we've already saved. So now you've got the front cover, the back cover in uh, PDF, and we are set to do or to have the book ready for uploading for KDP. Now BookBolt gives us your design is ready. So we push download. This will now give us a look at what the cover uh, will be like. And it's important just to double check it sometimes it may not work straight away. It's normally about a 98% success rate, but it looks like it's going to be perfect for us now. So we just have a bit of a look, go down a bit. And that is excellent. That's exactly what we want. And then I just click download here and save it into the folder that I want. And it is ready to upload. So now I'm on the upload section of KDP. So all I need to do is select the size. So it's 8.5 by 11. We go down, we're doing uh, no bleed. Uh, we're going to do glossy. We're going to upload the manuscript and launch a book cover. So when I upload the manuscript, we just go here. We wait for that. We're going to do exactly the same 
with the cover and then I'll show you as I upload the book. So my manuscript and my book cover have now uploaded. We go to Launch Previewer and this will tell us whether everything has worked perfectly for us as we uploaded the, uh, our cover or created our cover with BookBolt. So it says it didn't provide didn't find any issues we look along the red line make sure no writing is in that cover sorry is outside that red line for the cover and it looks like everything is absolutely perfect for what we want and that's why I use BookBot and that's why it's important that when you're using that software that it saves you time now remember I haven't gone to any great lengths in regards to keyword research for titles or subtitles or anything like that this video has been purely to show you how beneficial it is to use Canva in partnership with BookBolt to create your low content books. And I've created this in a couple of hours and it is now ready for upload. Now, remember though, if you want to find more videos about keywords uh, for book titles or for the seven backend keywords, make sure you check out my uh, previous videos. But also, I do have a specialist course um, on Skillshare and Udemy about low content publishing, but also about how to create standout book covers. And that might be something of interest to you. So I'm going to go ahead and improve, approve it, and it'll be ready to go. One thing I forgot to show you on the launch preview was the inside of the book. Now, what you need to make sure you do is ensure that there's no writing that exceeds this grey dotted line. So we've got our page number one. There's nothing here because that's the inside of the front cover. And then you've got page two and page three, making sure there's no writing again. And then that keeps on looping along for all your pages. So that's what I forgot to show you. So hopefully that helps when you actually are making sure that your manuscript fits the requirements of KDP. So I do hope that that tutorial was helpful. Remember, if you're wanting more information and courses around low content publishing, then make sure you check out my courses that are available both on Skillshare and Udemy, and also my more comprehensive course that is located on Thinkific via the Publishing Accelerator. Again, those links are below. So thanks very much for watching this video and I look forward to producing another video very soon.